Good morning, GMS. I'm Corton. And I'm Jeff. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of February 5th, 2023. This week we will have Alice Frozen Yogurt, so make sure to bring $5. Also make sure to charge your device before school. There's a skating party at Franklin Skate Club put on by the PTO on Friday, February 28th. There will be a $4 admission fee and $2 for renting skates. Cash is recommended for renting skates. It will happen through 6 p.m. through 8.30 p.m. This dance is Friday the 10th in the cafeteria at a night under the salt. is from 6 to 8 p.m., so get ready to have fun this Friday. Also, since make sure to not have gum at school. You cannot have gum in gym or study hall or anywhere for that matter. This is a nice school, so dis don't disrespect it. Now let's go to top trending in the GMS sports update. Have a good day, GMS. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Erla. And I'm Lily. Let's get started. According to Doggo News, king penguins, the second largest penguin species, typically have black and white coats with a yellow gold dash on their collar. However, one young penguin in the South Atlantic appears to have missed a black and white dress coat. It decided to forget the black and white feathers and retain just the bright yellow feathers. This type of penguin is called the stunning yellow king penguin. While some penguin coloring could be unusual, it's because to injury, diet, or disease. Professors believe that the yellow bird has leukism, a genetic condition in which only some of the melanin is lost. Also according to Dogger News, November 5, 2022, Nicholas Crumb was reporting about the rise in threats in the area of San Diego. All, suddenly, a parrot landed on his shoulder. The Sun newsman continued with the story while alerting the camera crew to the surprise visitor. But before anyone could react, Cheeky Bird took off with one of Crumb's earbuds. Fortunately, Crumb was able to get it back after the parrot lost interest and dropped it. The video of the bird's theft has gone viral since. That's all for Top Training. Have a great week, GMS. Hello, GMS. Welcome to GMS Weather. This is the forecast for the week of February 6th to February 10th. On Monday, we're actually getting a sunny day. It is in the middle of winter, but you don't even need a sweatshirt for this. It's high of 50. You probably just need some like long sleeve pants. Low of 44 and no precipitation and a little bit of wind, but not much. But on Tuesday, it's going to rain and it's going to rain a lot. It'll be pouring. It'll be warm though, it'll be 53, so maybe you can get in a little bit of time before it rains. Just use an umbrella. A 14 miles per hour wind, so even more, and 85% of precipitation. Wednesday, again, it is still pretty hot, so the rain isn't really making it cold, but uh, there is a lot of wind and there's even more of a high chance of rain. And on Thursday, you kind of get all the weather at once. It rains for the first half, it's cloudy, then it's sunny. But it is colder, but there's not much wind, and there's a little precipitation. It will rain, but not much. And then Friday, it'll just be a cloudy day, 45 degrees. You probably just could wear, like, a sweatshirt like this, and you'll be fine. And then 9-mile-per-hour wind and 17% chance of rain, but it's probably not going to rain. That's all for weather this week. Hi, welcome to GMS Roll Call. I'm Lucy, and today we're asking students to share their favorite joke. Why do ducks have feathers? To cover their butt quack. What did the wall say to the other wall? I don't know. Walls can't talk. Why was the jaybird walking across the street? He was practicing jaywalking. So, basically, this couple, they've been together 50, 60 years, they're really old, and they get into a horrible car accident. The husband is unscathed, but the wife is really hurt. So she goes to the emergency room, and then the husband comes to check on her to see how she's doing. And the doctor comes out, he says, I got some good news and some bad news. And he says, okay, bad news first. So basically...